so far I've created quite a few videos about Microsoft Flow and Power Automate. And all these videos and all these trainings were inside Power Automate. So basically, everything starts from a trigger and ends somewhere else. If I want to check the condition, if I want to do something, everything is happening inside the flow. Everything after the trigger is fired. Today, we want to extend this domain a little bit. I want to tell you how you can check the condition by the flow before the trigger is fired. So basically, I want to show you how you can skip some requests for firing if some certain conditions are not met. So basically, we want to create a trigger on the flow that it fires only when the certain condition exists. The question is that, why are we going to do that? Let me give you an example and make it clear for you. This is the flow that I created for this example. It's called Watch Product Entry. This flow is actually watching a list inside SharePoint when the item is created. Let me take you to the list and show you how it works. So PRD01 is a list that accepts title, category, unit price, and the ID. When I add something here, a flow is fired and sends an email notification. The dumbest thing I could imagine. But here is the interesting thing. This notification should happen if the unit price of the item is greater than $100. Now it makes better sense because when the items or orders with a smaller amount come in, maybe we want to automatically process it. But when a $1 million order comes in, probably we need to have a little bit of work on it, certain level of approval, certain level of preparation, certain level of notification. So if I have a flow like this that is going to work only if a certain condition is there, probably I want to fire the flow only when the condition is there, not firing the flow, checking the condition, and then terminating the flow. First of all, let's see if it works. So let me go back here. I create a new product here. I can say cheap product test. The category, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. The unit price, I add $14. And I save it. I also add another product. And I call it expensive product. And again, whatever the category, unit price is going to be $5,000. And I click Save again. Now, if we go back to the flow and see the history. None of them is there. This one is fired 55 minutes ago. Let me refresh and see. Four seconds ago and four seconds ago. Okay, good. So. One of them is cheap item. And if I close this one and go to the condition, the condition was not met. It's false and nothing happened. Perfect. The other one is the more expensive item. Condition is true. Let me show you the item. And here is expensive item, and the price is five grand. And for this one, let me just close it. The condition is true, so the email is sent. Let's see if we can track it down in the mailbox. And there we go. We have the product here. Now, in a daily work of a company, we may receive hundreds and thousands of orders, and only five or ten of them are actually big enough that is worth manual processing or extra attention, while most of them can be processed automatically. We really don't want to fire the flow 5,000 times in a day 
just to capture 10, 15, or 20 orders. This is where things get interesting. So now I want to take this condition to the trigger. So basically, when this condition is not met, flow is not fired at all. Let's see how we can do it. Let me take it to edit. And before anything, I want to put the condition here under compose. So basically, I want to construct the condition. Compose, click. So the condition, I will write the expression for this condition. And the condition is greater. The first value that I want to compare is going to be the unit price. Comma. 5,000. Click OK. Let me see it again. So greater trigger body unit price. and 5,000. So the expression greater returns true if the first item is larger than the second item. So if the value of this product, if the unit price is greater than 5,000, uh, we are going too far, maybe let's make it 100. If it is greater than $100, this condition is true. Let's test it and make sure it works. So I go back again to the list and I call it new cheap item and whatever the category the unit price is going to be for example $15 save and we go to flow and see if we got it okay so compose and it is false Let's try with an expensive product. So expensive prod 01, for example, category menswear, unit price is gonna be, for example, $150, which is above $100. Now again, if we go back there under my flows and let's see if we got it. Not yet, okay. We got it. So this time, it's a more expensive item, above $100, so the condition returns true. We are happy with this one. Now this is the interesting part. I can actually get this condition, get this whole expression, and take it to the trigger. Let's get this condition. See, this is what you see in the condition but I want to take this one and stick it inside this code. So basically you don't get the exact thing. If I take this to the P code, this is the underlying code. You see there is an add sign in the beginning. This is exactly what you expect. So let me take a copy of it. Let's go to the trigger. Let me take it to setting. And under setting of this trigger, I can add a condition and I can paste this guy here. Done. I'm happy now. Done. Let's save it. And let's try it again. Now, let me just add a new one. Test item cheap zero two. And I click on electronics. Unit price is going to be, for example, $20. And I click save. I also add an expensive item again. X pen save item 02. Unit price is going to be $150. Save again. Now let's go back to the flow and you have some interesting stuff. So if I come here, 
There is one three minutes ago, and there is one four seconds ago. If I click on this one, this is only my expensive item. The cheap item, although it was it was inserted before this expensive item, doesn't have a trace here. No matter how long I wait, that will not go through because it hit the trigger, but it didn't meet the execution condition. Let's take a look at it again. So this is the condition that I have here. Greater trigger body unit price, compare it to 100. And now the entire flow can become like this. Delete. Under condition, I really don't need this condition because anything that comes in actually meets this condition. So I can simply get this send email, drag and drop, and put it here. And the rest can go to recycle pin. Done. And this is my final flow. This flow will fire, and everything that is happening is happening for the orders above $100. Okay, that was all about it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Stay in touch. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Make sure you subscribe if you are not already a subscriber, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.